Hi, I'm Dr Hilary Jones. I'm a GP and medical broadcaster and some of you may have seen me on breakfast television over the years talking about a range of medical subjects. Now, right now, I want to talk about mammograms. I've teamed up with Pall Mall Medical and I want to talk about some of the frequently asked questions about mammograms. What a mammogram is and at what age can you have uh, the first mammogram? So thanks for watching and I hope you'll find this useful. Well, a mammogram is a specialised type of X-ray which looks at breast tissue for any abnormalities. Well, Pall Mall Medical, for example, uh, have their own diagnostic centre in a private medical facility where you can have a discreet and confidential scan carried out at your request. The equipment they use is state of the art. It uses the lowest dose of radiation required uh, for a reliable and accurate result. Well, it may be that uh, you're not eligible for a scan on the NHS and you can have a private mammogram carried out at Pall Mall Medical uh, if you're over the age of 35. Yes, you can is the answer. Anybody can request a, a mammogram at Pall Mall and there's no NHS referral required. You can just do this um, off your own bat and there are no delays and no waiting lists. Well, it's worth bearing in mind that the NHS screening uh, service doesn't start till the age of 50 at the earliest, but you can have a mammogram privately carried out at Pall Mall if you're uh, 35 and over, especially if you've got any family history or personal history of breast cancer. If you're under the age of 35, then a specialist consultant in breast cancer can refer you for an ultrasound test as well to give you extra peace of mind. Well, opinions vary around the world. For example, the American College of Radiology recommends screening mammography for women uh, from the age of 40 every year. Some European countries have different uh, uh, guidelines. France, for example, Spain and Ireland offer screening every two years from the age of 50. The NHS uh, carries out free breast screening every three years from the age of 50 and over. And because it's a rolling program, it means that you won't necessarily receive an invitation as soon as your 50th birthday arises, but you will receive your first uh, invitation before your 53rd birthday. Pall Mall Medical recommends screening every two years from the age of 40 and uh, annually for those at higher risk. The consultants who specialise there are always happy to advise on the best options for mammogram and screening for breast problems. Well, approximately it'll take about 20 minutes at Pall Mall. It takes place at their private hospital in Newton Le Willows, and it's often completed with a female radiographer for your own peace of mind uh, and discretion. Well, it's certainly not uncommon to experience just a slight bit of discomfort because of the compression of the breast tissue between the radiography plates. But any kind of discomfort like that, it's worth mentioning to the radiographer and any discomfort at all will soon pass. The mammograms are done by experienced radiographers and they carry out thousands of these mammograms every year. So you're in very good and very safe hands. Some people recommend that you avoid caffeine in tea or coffee or anything containing uh, caffeine because caffeine can cause some fluid retention, making the breast tissue a little tender and lumpy. So ideally in the week before your mammogram, you should avoid those things. Well, by going private, you have the reassurance of knowing that your results will almost certainly be back usually within seven days. Well, at Pall Mall Medical, you have the reassurance of knowing that two separate consultant radiologists are examining your scan very carefully and closely, and you won't get the, the final report until that is done. Well, at Pall Mall Medical, a mammogram would cost £320. The answer is that no health screening test in the world is 100% accurate, but we only carry out health screening where the benefits outweigh the risks. And at Pall Mall Medical, you can be assured that a consultant a radiologist, a consultant specialist or a GP will be looking at your results and telling you exactly what they mean.